you get that uh, when they get the IV in and they they flush it and you get that taste of saline in your mouth. Oh, oh, I freaking love that. Welcome back. It's a brand new episode. This is Laugh With Me, a podcast with Jeremy Odom. I am J.O. Joining me, producer of the stars, Johnny Palermo. You won't hear from him, but trust me, (laughs) you know his work. Man, what a week. What a freaking week it's been. Spring is here. That's exciting. We are uh, in the month of April. You know, spring officially March 20th, but it just doesn't quite start to feel that way, especially if you're living in the Midwest. It just doesn't feel like it's spring until you start to get into April. Then you start to get a few days here and there. I mean, last week, there was a couple of nice days, but then the rest were super cold and like very windy. This week, it's summer, um, so spring was good. Uh, the couple of days that we had it, but it's here. It's wonderful. Uh, it's grilling season. Oh, I love grilling season. Oh, yeah. I love putting the meat on the grill. Um, not a big preparing of the meats guy. Um, if someone else could get that, that would be awesome. But, yeah, no, I'll throw it on the, I'll throw it on the grill. And you know what else I'll do? I'll stand outside by the grill drinking beers, scrolling on my phone, listening to jams, and, uh, you know, I'll flip it. Uh, I have been known. Funny story. This, uh, shoot, when was this? This was like, so we used to live in this apartment. And they had, you know, one of the community grills, you know, out in between two buildings. And I'd go out. I'd grill some burgers, you know, once, twice a week. And one, one of my best friends, he he lived, like, in the second level that over his balcony oversaw the grill. Well, I'm, like, the only one that used that grill. So when he heard the grill lighting... He knew it was me out there, and he'd pop his head out, and sure enough, we'd make sure we had enough burgers for him. He'd come out. Well, one time, we're out there grilling, and we were just out there drinking beers and chatting and just having a great time, and I burnt the shit out of these burgers. (laughs) So we drove to the grocery store, got new burgers, came back, grilled those burgers, and then brought them up as if... Um, we had just grilled these burgers to perfection. I mean, it was, it was incredible, but spring is here. So we're grilling, we're drinking beers. It's awesome time. It's a, it's a great time to be a part of laugh with me. We have hit a new peak on the iTunes podcast charts for comedy stand up. We have now hit number 33. Thank you. Thank you. See, Johnny, that's how you do a drop. Good job. Oh, it's pretty exciting. We've hit number 33 on the iTunes charts. Thank you if you uh, if you listen to us on Apple. Uh, thank you if you listen to us on Spotify or YouTube as well. But uh, we appreciate you. And uh, America, you know, we're here to laugh with you. So I appreciate it. Uh, it's, been, uh, it's been a lot of fun making this show. And uh, we ain't stopping. We ain't stopping. Not today. But thank you again. Number 33 on the iTunes charts. We've got, shoot, man, we're, we're getting to the, the tail end of season one. And I wish I could tell you everything we have coming up uh, for season two. I can't. It's against the rules. I mean, you guys understand how promotions work, right? You're supposed to just tease a little bit. Just the tip. And I can't give you everything because then... You might decide before you even listen in season two or watch in season two. And uh, that's that's just not how promotions work. But season two, we've got a lot coming at you. But before we get there, we still have some season one to come. George Zilla, stand-up comedian from Omaha, Nebraska. He's going to be joining the show in the coming weeks. Trust me, you're not going to want to miss that. Uh, yeah, and we have some more, a few returning guests that you've probably have heard. If, uh, if you've been following along here on Laugh With Me. This is, it's episode 30 of Laugh With Me. Thanks, Johnny. That's actually, 
not um, the appropriate drop for there, but that's that's okay. <laughs> we'll be right back. It is. Uh, I felt like to this week, man, it was going to be a really good week for a little story time. I was telling you in the intro, it's been a heck of a week. I and it's, this is like really unrelated to the podcast, but personally, it's been a heck of a week. <laughs> ah, yeah, so I I've had since our last episode, I've had two hospital visits. Now you might be thinking, Jeremy, are you dying? Well, I mean, aren't we all? I mean, on, let's be real, aren't we all? But no, I'm not. But I am, uh, you know, dealing with stuff, as we all are. And my my dealings have to do with the repercussions of uh, the Crohn's disease. And something that comes along with that is uh, some iron deficiencies. And sometimes that iron deficiency, boy, does it get me down. <laughs> it brings me down. I, I'm super tired all the time. I don't feel well. The headaches, the... Just, I mean, when I say I'm tired, it's not like, oh, shoot, I should go to bed early tonight. No, it's like I peak when I wake up, and that peak runs pretty dry by 9 a.m., and then I could sleep the rest of the day and be perfectly content. So getting through the day is a struggle. But you know what? When I have iron in me, when I crank that up to a 12, and then I feel semi human again so what i had to do was you know go see the doctor and they test the blood and they're like oh shit what the hell are you doing and i'm just like yeah i'm living my life and then they're like all right we're gonna get you in get you smire and i'm like cool let's do it anytime you know and that's on like a wednesday and they're like i call and i'm like all right we gotta go and they're like yeah you're really bad and i'm like okay let's go when can you get me in like this afternoon they're like no next next thursday so can you come in in like eight days (laughs) yeah doctor's got jokes so I wait. I basically, you know, I I was asked. People would ask me. So what do you do? Like how? Do, now what? I go nothing. I just try to live till I get to, <laughs> till I get to the iron, and then you know that takes a while to absorb in my body. But anyway, I get there right. It's a Thursday. I get in. Um, I don't know why it is. I hydrate. Okay. I I don't know. If it's because I don't like needles, so my body tenses up and my veins want to hide. I'm sure there's truth to that. I have been told that that's a thing. I don't know. But it's very difficult for nurses to find veins or to properly put the needle in in my vein for the IV. It's uh, quite the struggle sometimes. I mean, sometimes I'll get poked like four, five, six times. You know, I've had it where they been in my right arm and they they're like all right we got you you know it's perfect just just bro we finally did it i'm like awesome it hurts but okay that's all right we did it and then they'll they'll start cranking the stuff in and then uh and i'm like this hurts and they're like no we got it we got it we're not doing it again i'm like that's i trust you you're you're the medical professional but i'm telling you it hurts next thing you know i'm like you know like when popeye eats the spinach and his biceps explode yeah that's my arm it's like five sizes too big and it's it's not too big i mean i think if i worked out i could probably work into that but for within seconds to be that big that's just not how it works so let's just say i've had some struggles with that so on thursday it takes two nurses they finally get it on the top of my left hand there's there was like a big old vein popping they had me do this thing where i dangled my arm and squeezed my fist and it, it worked that vein was popping they get that in there. Yeah, I get the iron. You know, a couple hours later, I'm all done. You know, I went and had some lunch. I had Long John Silver's. People ask, you know, who keeps Long John Silver's in business? It's me after I get the iron. I haven't had it in years. But I I did have it right after I got the iron. So I guess the answer to that question is me. So then I get a second treatment of iron um so five days later right so then today so i get to go in this morning get the second dose i'm telling you what 
when I walked in there this morning, I was feeling pretty good. Like I felt like I think the iron is finally starting to like work in me. Like everything is starting to gel. Like I think we're on the right path to success. I may feel good for a month maybe. I mean that's that's what I'm looking at. I'm I, I'm being positive. So it's it was actually it's funny because I go in I'm I'm checking in then I have to meet with the uh, the lady at the desk you know they ask you all the questions um, which this time was interesting I would just been there right five days ago and you know any any, any changes with your insurance blah 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 all the stuff asking my name and birthday I give all that and then this question I've never been asked so my brain instantly had a different answer than normal. I've never been asked if within the last five days, because, you know, I was just there, have my demographics changed? And that one caught me for a loop. Normally, it's just automatic. I answer everything. Boom, boom, boom. Have my have your demographics changed in the last five days? And I was like, yeah, actually, I'm Latino now. <laughs> Thanks, Johnny. And uh, she stared at me. I said, I'm, I'm joking, obviously. No, nothing's changed. And then she rushed me out of there. I don't know. That set the tone. I can tell you that much right now. <laughs> But I learned the trick thing with the uh, for my vein with my arm, so I did that right away um, going in to get the iron. So one shot, one needle. That's all it took this time. You know, felt awesome. You get that uh, when they get the IV in and they they flush it and you get that taste of saline in your mouth. Oh, oh I freaking love that. I don't know if that's... Uh, I, if anyone can relate to that, I freaking love it. Love that. I love it when when at the end, sometimes they'll flush it again, and I'll get that taste. I she, I got gypped this time. There was no second flush. I really wanted that second flush. I think I start requesting it or something because I did get it last Thursday. I get that uh, that shot of the saline. I can taste it. I just don't know if it's just because it's it to me. It's just it's cool. That I that she shoots it into my arm and and I can taste it. Oh, it's cool. I like it. I'll take it daily if I could. So the iron goes in. Normally, it's not a big deal. It goes in. I can't feel anything. Um, oh, not that I'm numb. It's just there's no change. Was it drip 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 <laughs> dripping in? But this time, man, I was pretty uncomfortable through the whole thing. Uh, my entire midsection. Uh, well, I guess I take that back. When I left last Thursday, it was like my whole insides were on fire when I left. And that fire burning is usually on the dance floor, but not like not today. Like it was it was like my inside. So then that wore off, ate the Long John Silver. So again, this happened right after. So it had nothing to do with the Long John Silvers. And then today, really uncomfortable through the whole thing. Uh, my back was starting to hurt a little bit. Um, yeah, it just... Very uncomfortable. It had nothing to do with the recliners either. And then, um, you know, then it was over. And then I'm super tired again. It's like, what the hell? I was feeling pretty good walking in there. And I just don't know if my demographics joke was just, was that, like, inappropriate that um, they gave me the special stuff? I don't know. But it was, uh, it was quite the deal. But hopefully I'm on the up and up. The iron... Deficiency hopefully has been resolved for, I don't know, another month or two. It's really not that frequent, but hopefully I can at least feel semi-normal. I don't know if I'm giving out too much medical information right now. Like, am I violating OSHA law right now? Like, I don't know if uh, if that's what I'm doing, but I don't know. I don't know. But that's been my week. It's been uh, it's been a heck of a ride, but then you know, and then working through there. So you know, when I'm iron deficient, I'm tired, right? And I just want to throw out there, and and if, if you're a fan of the show, you listen to the show, um, or maybe maybe you hate listen, maybe you're not even a fan, but you do listen weekly. <laughs> just more of a hate listen. Actually, more respect to you if you do that, but I'm working. I work with people, you know, face to face all day long. And there's people yawning because I'm, you know, I'm working at like 4 a.m. People yawning in my face. And the very fact that I'm not yawning, that I'm that strong, that I'm built that different, honestly, more credit to me for that. You 
on this week's episode, we're talking about iron deficiencies. We're talking about Crohn's disease. If you've ever thought to yourself, you know what? There's some people out there that I know that they, you know, they struggle with Crohn's and colitis disease on uh, on a daily basis. How can I help? Here's how you can help. The Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of Iowa and Nebraska is hosting their annual Omaha Take Steps Walk. And of course, fundraiser to help folks uh, help find a cure for the disease for folks that are living with Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Oh, I'll tell you what, anybody who is living with this or anybody who is living with somebody who's living with this knows uh, the kind of toll it can take on your body. And um, it's not easy. And in fact, a lot of times it can be very lonely. So um, any way that you can help, go sh- show your support. This walk is Saturday, June 15th at 9 a.m., taking place at Werner Park in Papillion, Nebraska. You can find uh, the Omaha Take Steps Walk at the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation's uh, Facebook page. And uh, we're going to get a team together, the Laugh With Me team, so that you can uh, help support the cause or just show up and, uh, and you know, get some exercise and, and get a walk on a Saturday morning in June. But uh, Omaha Take Steps Crohn's and Colitis Foundation Walk is happening Saturday, June 15th at 9 a.m. at uh, Warder Park. One of the things I love about, like, social media outside of watching other people's problems because sometimes you know people just share too much Levetti, and that's where that part can be entertaining but one of the things i do love the most is like somebody just randomly posting one picture of something old that you can like that you remember you know like from your childhood one of the things i saw today it was a 20 ounce pop bottle cap you know on the inside they had the the games, the contests. You know, it would say, like, please play again if you lost. But if you won, it'd say, like, buy a Dew or Pepsi, 20 ounce, get one free. Or sometimes you just get a free one. Why are we still doing that? Like, you can't tell me. It costs so much to be doing these BOGO 20 ounce pop deals or so much to print on the inside of these caps. We can't be running these promos. You can't tell me. That that didn't boost sales. I I I know for a fact. I was drinking Mountain Dew, and Pepsi, because of the contest. Because when the contest ran dry, it's not that I didn't drink those anymore. It's just I started to drink other different flavors and pops along the way as well. But when you had the contest going, I mean I'm. I'm loyal to the cause. Okay? I am loyal. I am buying up. I want to win. That's the thing. We all want to win. And we're all loyal to business, to activities that give us the opportunity to win. Think about scratch tickets. That's one of the things. I haven't noticed this as much except for now, you know, I'm working at a gas station, so I see the sheer amount of people buying scratch tickets. I'll tell you what, that Trucks and Bucks promotion they're running, it's back now. You can get your Trucks and Bucks $2 ticket. You had a chance of winning a truck. I'll tell you what, people are loyal to that. They know folks are winning trucks. Hey, you know what? People are winning a lot of money out of those things, too. I must have cashed a whole bunch of them. You know, $5, $4 here, $2, free tickets. Seems like every single one you're winning something. That's how it felt drinking that pop. It just blows my mind. You have gold here. It's like McDonald's with the Monopoly game. And I know I've watched the documentary on the the, the scams that people were running, but you have to you gotta outthink that. You know, you got you gotta evolve with it and figure out new ways to play the game and not get scammed by folks. But some of these promos are just genius. And it's as simple as putting some printing inside of a bottle cap that says buy do or Pepsi, get one free. All day, man. All day. I'm a I'm a very loyal monster drinker. I drink the the white can um, with the zero sugar. And I'll tell you what. I'm going to tell you that right now. That if uh, Pepsi Mountain Dew, you know, brought back this promo, I might. I would consider, you know, gaining five more pounds just to play the game for a while. Because 
it was fun, and you just you just never know. You thought you could win, and then the thrill, the thrill of winning, that's the that's the beauty of it. And now with you know sports betting become legal in a lot of states. I mean, just think, you think people won't take that thrill that they're getting in gambling and go to the convenience store and buy the pop and get to feel just to feel the juice again. <sighs> I think I have a problem. <laughs> Well, thank you, everybody, for listening. This has been Laugh With Me, a podcast with Jeremy Odom. Again, my name is Jeremy. You can find us on Twitter, X, um, at Laugh With Me Pod, or at J-O from Nebraska. You can find us on Instagram, at Laugh With Me Podcast. Find us on the TikTok, at Jeremy O Zero. And, of course, you can find us on YouTube, the Laugh With Me Podcast podcast season two we're going to be launching on youtube with more video i can't tell you how much i appreciate uh you guys listening thank you so much make sure to follow and uh we'll talk to you next week